The Deloitte study found that 56% of Canadians support the expansion of private health care as long as it doesn't negatively impact the publicly funded system. Currently, Canadians spend close to $50 billion per year on private health care services. Only 39% feel they will be able to handle future health care expenses. And 69% say they will support politicians in making health care decisions, but only if that increases their access to services. Joining us in studio is Mark Pham, Senior Manager at the Deloitte Centre and one of the authors of the study. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. Now, the study found that a majority of Canadians support the expansion of private health care. Why do you think that is? I think we, we asked the question of the support for private health if it truly does not impact the public health system, and that's where we see that strong support. Um, what I think is important is that Canadians still have a very strong view and trust of the public health system, and as soon as you start tampering with that, giving some access to services more quickly for premiums or for-profit for private hospitals, that support quickly drops away. When we try to understand what the real interest and the driver is, it's increased access to quality care better access to service and more convenience that are really driving Canadians to say they're interested and open in discussing what private care could look like. Now, the study was conducted in 2008. Do you think that the results would be dramatically different if it was done, you know, post H1N1? I think we would see some results. We asked a number of questions of where Canadians feel the best public policy focus should be. Focus on pandemic planning was certainly up there, up in the top five. I think if we asked today, it may, may rise to number one. Now, as I understand it, this is the first time that this type of study was done in Canada, but it has been done for many years in the States. Why is that? We've, uh, we have uh, invested in a global research centre at Deloitte that we really have focused on investing in health care and, and our commitment to the, the system. In the U.S., we've seen this as an emerging trend over a number of years, so we've been studying it. and wanted to bring that insight here to Canada to really understand how patients are starting to act more like consumers here in Canada. So Americans think of themselves more as consumers than Canadians have. It's not been on our radar yet? Given the nature of their system, they need to act more like consumers. But here in Canada, we see that individuals are really starting to have more of a consumer-oriented mindset, demands the kinds of information they bring into doctors' offices and the kinds of services they're looking for. Now, Sarah Palin um, was quoted as saying that Canadians should dismantle our public health care system and leave it up to the private sector. Do you agree? It's an interesting comment from, uh, from Sarah Palin. We, we compared the results of Canadians in, the, in Canada and the U.S., and we saw overall Canadians grade our system in A or B or very well 43% of the time. In the U.S., it's only about 21%. So I think the consumer view perhaps is different than the political view. Uh, I think overall our Canadians are consistently saying that they have a strong trust and, and, and comfort in the public health system, so I think it's, it's here to stay for good reason. Now, today the Canadian Medical Association called for a national debate on health care. Are we closer to the, that debate than most people might think? I think as this idea of more of a consumer focus in healthcare emerges, it'll never really tamper with the, the trusted patient-physician relationship. Mm -hmm. But I think as that focus around more consumer demand and our, and our population ages and, and the need for services increases, I think it will open up more and more debate differently in each province around what services could look like. Very interesting mm -hmm. uh, facts. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, we'd like to hear from you, should we allow more private health care in this country? You can post a comment on our blog at suntvnews.ca.